guys, me Seren, back with another car video. That's how you know they're trying to open back up. We get in more car videos because I'm outside so much more. But I wanted to do this video because this is something that I've been thinking about a lot. I feel like my several of my last videos, several, <laughs> at least three of them, which I will include links to in the description box. But I feel like several of my last videos have focused on anti-blackness. The idea of anti-blackness and especially anti-black Americanness in particular, anti-black American sentiments and anti-blackness. And I wanted to do a full video on this because the problem is anti-blackness. Like, public service announcement, the problem is anti-blackness. I feel like for a really long time, and even I myself did this, I feel like for a really long time we used a lot of other words instead of the term anti-blackness we use words like racism which is obviously a real thing the system of racism white supremacy obviously a real thing uh white supremacy white power uh white racism you know all these things these are all terms that we use but a lot of the times what we really mean when we use those terms a lot of the times what we really mean is anti-blackness and again anti-black american sentiment specifically and i feel like the fact that we do not use the term anti-blackness as often as we use the term racism for example is something that's causing a lot of confusion for people as you guys know when i talked in my video about like jenny mai for example who said that like racism doesn't have a hierarchy which is like active that's like actively untrue right it's actively untrue racism in and of itself is a hierarchy you guys have heard me say a million times on this channel that especially in the united states there is a social hierarchy that puts white people on top non-black persons of color second foreign blacks third and then black americans at the bottom a lot of you guys have also heard me talk about the idea of working towards whiteness which is also the name of a book which is the concept that especially um, immigrants and especially white immigrants like the Irish um, the Italians the Jews that were originally seen as other were able to come to the United States and work towards whiteness because of their comparison and their proximity to black people to black Americans right so the idea that they got to work towards whiteness and then they got to become white because they were in fact not black <laughs> like they were not black they were not black americans uh they were not you know descendants of american chattel slavery and this is actually a uh, sort of i guess you would call this a so social a social phenomenon maybe um this is a social phenomenon that we're actually seeing repeated um with a lot of incoming in immigrant groups right now because the litmus test for other and for otherness um is how close you are to blackness and then within the black sort of diaspora the litmus test in the united states i'm talking about in the united states is how close you are to black americanness so it ends up causing a lot of problems because you have people that feel like well we are all oppressed under the system of racism white supremacy this even includes white people right like this even includes white jews like this includes jewish people who when not when nazis fucking march in charlottesville and they're chanting jews will not replace us you have jews that say well we should also be included under this umbrella because like, we are also oppressed by right white supremacy you have non-black latinx that say we should also be included under this umbrella because we're also being oppressed by white supremacy and, and racism. You have Asians that say we should also be included under this umbrella because we are also being oppressed by white supremacy, by racism. And the reason why this makes black people so angry and so upset is because like our problem is anti-blackness, which you guys continuously hear me saying in videos. Our problem is anti-blackness blackness so and and people don't seem to understand which i said in my cultural appropriation video when i said you know people don't seem to understand the way that we wield systemic and infrastructural power against each other right so right now there's been like a huge wave of um they've been you know like anti-asian sentiment which i did a video on and yet instead of making it about you know the, pro the, the problems under white supremacy for Asians, they're trying to make it into this is what niggas need to do for us. 
because we're all in the same boat together. When really it's like, well, number one, we're not in the same boat together because I'm black, you're not black, so you don't have to deal with anti-blackness. Even the anti-Asian sentiment that you are experiencing under the system of racism, white supremacy is not the same as anti-blackness, no. And it's not the same as anti-black racism, absolutely not. And this idea also that like black Americans owe people something uh, that we are required to do something for them, especially because of our hyper visibility. Our hyper visibility as a marginalized group. We, we talk about oppression Olympics a lot. I have a video on oppression Olympics. The, black Americans have this hyper visibility that everyone envies. It's like really, really weird. Even other black people, even other members of the black diaspora envy us our hyper visibility and a lot of people feel like you know it is our job it is our responsibility it is our requirement to utilize our hyper visibility for other people Ab absolutely not absolutely not um part of what you know inspired this video was we were discussing on discord and bloodle shout out to bloodle bloodle the poodle made a post that he posted something that was put on that he also put on twitter that was like there has to be some type of phrase for what it is when you have groups that collectively like asians practice anti-blackness but then once they themselves also become oppressed under racism white supremacy they now feel like it is the job of black americans to use our hyper visibility to do something for them cape for them help them out and you guys have heard me say repeatedly like until anti-blackness and especially anti-black american sentiment which is a huge problem in asian communities is handled like you guys collectively have an issue in your culture with anti-blackness that doesn't change just because you are also oppressed by white people you also being oppressed by white people really has absolutely nothing to do with me as a black person like that this is not like an enemy of my enemy is my friend type of situation because the way that the social hierarchy works it's levels it's like a tiered type of scenario so it's like just because a white person is above you on the tier and they can wield systemic and infrastructural power against you up to and including killing you in a fucking mass shooting that doesn't mean that we are now on the same side because you are still also higher than me on the social hierarchy and you're able to wield systemic and infrastructural privilege power and oppression against me as well so like you're an oppressor and the white person is also an oppressor you are not a better oppressor than the white person asian americans or latinx or you know whoever needs to hear that like you're not a better oppressor of the niggas than a white person you are the same foreign blacks i'm talking to you too you're the same <laughs> you are not <laughs> like you are still able to wield a certain amount of infrastructural power and just because black americans have gone through so much and have fought so hard and advocated so hard for ourselves does not mean that we have some type of moral responsibility or obligation to use our hyper visibility that we did not ask for but that we motherfucking damn sure earned which you guys have also heard me say in several videos we're not required to use our hyper visibility for anyone we don't owe anyone anything and we especially don't owe any members of groups that have cultural issues with anti-blackness and anti-black americanness specifically cultural groups marginalized groups that specifically come to the united states and use their proximity to black americanness as a sort of litmus test for them to be able to move up well at least i'm not i'm not a black american so let me work towards whiteness let me move up in the social hierarchy right but now when something happens to us we got to turn around and we got to like ask those niggas because those niggas have so much hyper visibility to fucking work for us because we're quote unquote all oppressed the same under the system of white supremacy no again no we're not because my issue is anti-blackness we don't have the same issue my issue of anti-blackness is exactly the same with a white person as it is with an asian person like my issue is like the issue is anti-blackness right and i personally feel like the term the terminology for this would be muling i do feel like muling has been co-opted i do have a video coming on uh co-opting and and semantic leeching and co-opting of terminology uh i have done uh the pepsi jenner video where i got on that a little bit the the co-opting of sort of uh protest language and, and revolutionary language for brands and capitalism but you know i would like we are even now seeing the co-opting of protest language by other like quote unquote protest groups 
And I would say that this term, the term for what people expect from black Americans is muling. Like, motherfuckers really think that we are still slaves. Like, they really think that we are the slaves of the diaspora. They think that we're the mules of the diaspora. They think that we're the slaves of the world. They think that we're the mules of the world. They think that it is the job of black Americans to literally put everybody on our back and mule, literally, and carry their asses to the promised land. Longtime subscribers have probably heard me use these exact words before. Like, there's really a belief. And what is this belief because of? anti-blackness and anti-black american spe like sentiment specifically like it's a big circle like everything circles back around to that like black americans having to hit the streets because we're being killed in the streets and nobody gives a fuck is because of anti-blackness our fucking movement getting all this pushback that we've had to like push really hard like no our lives matter no we're gonna keep fighting no uh, the fact that we had to like fight so hard the reason anti-blackness right and now you have people that's like finally getting on board and they're trying to co-opt our language they're trying to co-opt our dialogue they can't even get their own hashtags off the ground they can't even get their own movements off the ground without us the expectation that we're supposed to slave away and mule for them and do everything for other people because we have all this hyper visibility that we didn't earn and like fuck them niggers that's anti-blackness Cultural appropriation, the fact that people could fucking pick up elements of black American culture like a costume, people that are not a part of our culture, that they can then monetize it when we ourselves are not even allowed. We are literally locked out. We are literally blocked out, blacked out of our own genres, of our own everything, while other people get to like black it up with their little black ass stage names and, you know, their tributes. And, you know, that, that what's the reason? Why, why somebody that's not black can do it and get away with it, but the person that is black can't. Anti-blackness. What is the reason why the person that's not the black American can get away with doing the role of the fucking ghetto person in Snowfall, this, that, and the third, and the black American can't? Anti-black American sentiment specifically. What is the reason why when I, a fucking black woman, black American woman, I talk about anti-Asian sentiment and cultural appropriation and shit like that, I get death threats while an Asian girl could do it and talk about the exact same content and people love it? Anti-blackness. 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 Anti-blackness is the issue. Anti-blackness is the issue. Like, under the umbrella of the system of racism white supremacy which as i've said like it does affect jews sure but you're still white and so you're still able to like wield you know anti-blackness against black people right because that's the problem anti-blackness asians yes you are being targeted by fucking white people and the fact that people turned around and said here's what black people could do to support instead of saying like let's talk about white male rage which I have a whole video on, six years old, whole video on white male rage. When the black people were talking about the white male rage and the white killing sprees, when they were killing fucking niggas in Charleston and we was getting all this pushback, what was the problem? Anti-blackness. <laughs> Yet now, they didn't kill some Asians. Oh, now now we gotta talk about it. Now it's, it's not, no, no, not to say that like it's not a, an issue, because like obviously like wh fucking white white boys killing people is a problem and it's been a problem. Domestic terrorism is a problem and it's been a problem. But for all these seven years, eight years, ten years, fifteen years, twenty years, twenty-five years, thirty years, that niggas, especially black Americans, have been saying it, getting all this pushback. The problem. Y'all know what the problem, you know what I'm gonna say anti-blackness so until people are really ready to unpack their anti-blackness and their anti-black american sentiment specifically because you have black diasporic cultures and collectives that also have an issue in their culture with black americans specifically yet you're not allowed to say that they're allowed to fucking call us lazy criminals say that we don't want to work we don't want to do this we don't want to do that we're not taking advantage of our, of our opportunities they're allowed to talk about black americans like a fucking dog and for, somehow that's never xenophobic you can talk about black americans like a dog no one will ever use the word xenophobic yeah black americans are not allowed to talk about what's going on with us in terms of anti-blackness and anti-black american sentiment specifically like why because of anti-blackness and because of anti-black Americanness specifically, that's why we're not allowed to talk about it. We're not allowed to do shit. And really the reason is because of anti-blackness and anti-black American sentiment across culture, globally, and people don't wanna talk about it. 
all this woke chatter, all this chatter, all this conversation, all this dialogue don't even mean nothing. It doesn't even mean shit. It's totally a side note, side addendum. It's really funny to me also the amount of fucking think pieces and conversations and interviews that I've seen going around about how Asians aren't a monolith, right? How Southeast Asians are different than East Asians. How Koreans are different than Japanese who are different than Chinese. How all these people are fucking different. We still can't even have no conversation on how motherfucking niggas are different. We still can't even have a fucking conversation on how black Americans are our own ethnicity that needs to be respected. They need to stop trying to just trade niggas in and out like we're all the same. What's the reason? Why Asians are are giving all this space to talk about their identity and to talk about what's going on in their communities with the hate and then being killed by white people. What's the reason why they're allowed to talk about it but black Americans are not? What's the reason? Anti-blackness. I know some of y'all just said it with that little space. We done gone back to motherfucking uh, elementary school where we had the little break and you yell out the answer. Until people are really ready to come to terms with anti-blackness and anti-black American sentiment, I'm going to continue on with what I'm saying, which is that black Americans don't owe anybody anything. We are not your mule. It is not our job to put anybody on our back and carry them to the promised land, especially people that have a huge collective consciousness and culture of anti-blackness and anti-black American sentiment specifically in their communities that they do not deal with, that they do not talk about, that they have not addressed, yet they have an expectation of what black Americans are supposed to do. And they still can't even understand that our problem is and remains anti-blackness. This has been a public service announcement. I might do a little addendum reading some of the stuff from Discord, but if I don't, that's it. Peace. It got warm, so I I took my jacket off, but I wanna add one more thing, like, I probably am going to add a little bit more once I get home. I'm going to read off from Discord. But I want to also say that it's very funny to see people that, you know, like they finally got a little taste, a very minuscule taste of what it's like to be a nigger. And obviously they're losing their minds. They can't handle it. And now the whole world got to stop. It's very funny. Not to say that Asian American sentiment or mass killings and shit like that is okay because it's definitely not but again when it was niggers getting killed who was in the streets niggas (laughs) because nobody else fucking cared nobody cared right now niggas have not niggas now asians and other groups are getting this tiniest little taste of what it's like to be a black american in this country and what it's been like to be a black american in this country since further than the last 400 years since before this was even the united states and the whole world has to stop and executive orders are being signed things that have still not even happened for black americans motherfuckers really wasn't even ready to accept that anti-blackness and anti-black racism was the issue before last year (laughs) which i literally just posted a video yesterday about like this is not new like we've been pushing for this like it just in my own activism i've been involved (laughs) for fucking i've been on youtube for seven years but i've been involved with activism for almost 10 so it's like you know just even in my own little lifetime it's been like a decade of this like push and not getting shit from it and people arguing with us and arguing us down and da 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 like we just got some like acceptance of like our movement i guess not the right words exactly but you know now motherfuckers got like the bare minimum taste of what it's like and like what's the first thing they do how are black americans gonna help us like it's a fucking joke it's a joke i just want to like say like seriously in closing like hold your own nuts fight your own battles obviously like again like white people are the problem like white people are a motherfucking problem absolutely but people really need to stop trying to like throw black fucking people and especially black americans up under the bus to make some type of point about the system of racism white supremacy when they themselves are complicit in anti-blackness as well have your own movement rightfully protest against you know being killed and anti-asian sentiment or whatever but you need to leave black americans the hell up out of it period